Welcome, thank you for clicking through to this session on how a spark is generated on a small petrol engine. And I'm going to show two examples of small engine here. I'm going to show a four stroke and a two stroke and you'll soon see that the generation of the sparks are principally the same. But I want to stress that this is only a very, very basic explanation for the complete novice, so for the beginners. And also the images I'm showing are what I've made myself in Photoshop. So I haven't got some tech guy working for me. They're not brilliant images, but hopefully they'll explain my point. And please remember that they're not real engines, it's just drawings. So they might not represent reality completely, but I've done the best I can to explain my point. So my two stroke engine is here, and this is my four stroke engine. And these are the pistons, of course, of the two engines. And I'm illustrating small petrol engines. So we've got spark plugs here on both engines. So these are the flywheels of the two engines. And let's assume these two engines are a similar size and they've got similar size flywheels. And on a basic sort of engine like this, we've generally got above the flywheel there, bolted on, a magneto. And as most of us know, that's otherwise known as a coil pack. So leading out of each coil pack here are these electrical leads or HT leads as they're otherwise known. And they terminate here at the spark plugs, of course. Just looking back at the flywheel for a moment, there's these little two orange pieces here. These are what I've illustrated as little magnets. These are attached to the flywheel and rotate with the flywheel. And these pistons are at top dead center or near top dead center. These magnets here on the flywheel that we looked at earlier are specifically placed on the flywheel so that when each piston is at or near top dead center, they line up with each coil pack. And of course, the magnets don't just line up and stay there. They're on the flywheel, so the flywheel's moving very fast. They actually pass this point. So each magnet travels past the coil packs at high speed. And right at the point in which they pass, electrical energy is generated and transferred from the magnet into the coil pack. So just at that split second on that passing point, all of that generated energy is fed into the coil pack and then it goes further on into the HT lead. And again, in a split second, that travels all the way up the HT leads to the spark plug where it activates the spark plug to create a spark inside the cylinder. So to sum it up, because of this, there'll be a spark when the piston's in this position, whether there's fuel up there to combust or not. But what I want to do is let the animation run now so that we can see things now a little clearer for a few moments. OK, so there we go. I hope it has helped a little bit. And again, that was for the complete novice. It was for the beginner. So I'm hoping that you've gained some knowledge there. And as I've said, my explanations won't meet reality perfectly here. There'll be some slight differences, but I wanted to get the basics there and keep it very, very basic and simple. And as you can see, all the engines were moving in very, very slow motion and the pistons don't actually stop when it's waiting for the spark. It's continual. I just showed it that way so you can see in detail then processes that are involved. So if you're new to this information, I hope you've learned something new and thank you for watching.